Welcome back to Auto Repair guys, in today's video guys we will show you how to remove re or replace radio on Ford Fiesta, that's including the Fiesta ST. Uh, so stay with us, we will show you how to remove it now right here. The screen is a separate thing I believe, so we will have a video how to do that as well. Uh, check out the channel, we will be taking the whole Fiesta apart, more than 200 videos coming. Please subscribe and let us know if you need anything. So the first step will be to disconnect your battery. And it's important how you do that. Uh, when you disconnect the battery, you need to disconnect the negative cable first. Okay, this is the negative mi minus cable and positive second. And why you do that? It's because if you uh, don't disconnect the negative and you disconnect the positive and accidentally touch it to the body of the car, you still have connection and you can burn the computer or at least the fuse. So we're going to disconnect the negative and the positive after that as well. Make sure that they're not going to touch. If you think they do, make sure you put a glove or something underneath them. Okay, and let's proceed with the next step. So now what you need to do, you need to get a, a trim removal tool. Okay, let me grab this one, it's a little bit better. And right here you need to come. Uh, okay, this trim will have actually Okay, four clips. Okay, let me pull them out. Still holding quite a bit here. So we have three clips on this side, three on the other side. Okay, so let me start on it. Now you need to pop them open and then it slides towards the back of the vehicle. Okay, and that's how you remove it. Okay, just like that. So next, 7 millimeter socket, we're going to remove, okay, two, uh, two screws here. Okay, one is out, okay, check it out, that's what it is, that's how long it is. One more, you don't need to remove the screen now. Okay, perfect. Then you need to get your plastic trim removal tool, you're going to start, okay, prying a little bit here. You have a few clips, one more on this side, okay, perfect. Now you have towards the, towards the top here, oh my goodness, wait a minute now. We have more clips now, okay, it slides out. So now we can, okay, actually, okay, go ahead and disconnect the wires. And I won't be able to show you how to do that, but uh, I will actually show you once we remove it so you can see a little bit better okay what exactly I am talking about okay this is the airbag light right here now okay let me see if I can get it out now okay perfect just like that we have one more light now okay so this I mean wire uh, this uh, wire right here, you press in in the middle and you pull it out. Okay, now this is for the uh, that airbag switch, and this one you actually remove the whole switch. So let me show you how you do that now. Here you have a few things that you need to spread out. Okay, and you pull the switch. Okay, just like that. Okay, and you can see that piece is out of the way now. So for the radio now guys, we need a 7mm and we're not going to remove the screen. Yeah, if you need a video for the screen, we have it, but it only takes 4 screws with a T25. Uh, you can check the video out if you want to, but right now we have, we have to remove a few bolts, screws with a 7mm socket. Okay. That's for the CD player part. One is out. Okay, one more. Okay, let me show you what it looks like. Okay, it's this one right here. Next, we have two more. Okay, one over here. And one over there. The radio player will drop down, that's normal. Now, you need to get a small screwdriver and there is two clips, okay, right here, that you need to get out of the 
Okay, out of the dust. So those are a little bit hard to press in sometimes. Okay, this one came out. And let me show you now. If it doesn't want to come out, what I'm actually going to do, I'll just get the, uh, the screen loose. And I'll recommend to do that because otherwise the clip cannot go in. Okay, so let me just go ahead and do that. I will we'll not even disconnect it. Okay, this is Torx 25, but I'll recommend doing that because I just saw that the clip is pretty tight and you have a hard time putting it together after that. Okay, just one more now. Okay, now you can grab that screen, pull it out, careful with the wires, flip it on the back side here. Make sure it doesn't drop. I would recommend even to disconnect it if you want to. And then we have the second clip right here. And we're going to grab, okay, and pull a little bit out. Okay, like that. You can see it goes up. Okay, this one's still holding here a little bit. Okay, next we're going to grab the player and start pulling it out. And this thing, it will need to come out more. Okay, and the problem that it doesn't is because you need to pop it up first. Okay, on each side here. Okay, and now you can see it got loose. We can pull the radio out now. And you have all the wires on the back. Okay, and this one will be a little bit hard to explain all of them, but this one here now, those are the antennas. You press down, okay, and you pull it out. So let me just get a good grip, because if you don't, you're going to break it. And yeah, it's one of those that you don't want to break to be honest with you okay this one's loose so press down here okay and same thing on the other side so I need to help it just a little bit let me get it here because it's very very tight the second one Okay, second one came loose as well. Now the big wires, okay, you have a thing, you press in the middle here, you pull them out. Same thing on this one. And this is a CD player, and if you want to remove the screen, all you have to do is disconnect the wire. So that's how you guys remove it. Uh, if you want to see it, putting it back together, stay with us and we'll show you that, because it's a little bit complicated. So, when you get the replacement unit, okay, you need to connect all your cables, okay, the same way we disconnected them. So this is the easy part. The antennas, this time you just push them in, okay, they're cover coated so you cannot mess them up, that's a good part about it. Okay, this one is in now, but, okay, we're not done. No, no, that's the tricky part that I don't like so much. Now this thing has to go the same way, at the same time that the radio goes in. Okay, so you need to start getting the radio in. Careful with the screen there. Okay, perfect like that and now we need to get okay this trim all the way in as well until everything is lining up and we have the clips ready okay to go in okay we're almost there now and what I'm going to do actually Okay, let me get the two now. I'm going to uh, install these two bolts that we removed right here. 
because it will be easier to do it now and to hold the radio too up okay one is in one more All the tools we use guys will be in the description of the video if you want to check them out. Okay, so now I'll just get the display here in place so, so I don't break it. And now we will need to go in. Okay, and we need to go in okay quite a bit still. So I'll actually my bad I'll remove the screen. Make sure that all, all these two, two clips Okay, you push in until they click in place. You can pry it a little bit and push in. All the cables seem loose, everything is good. So, next, all we have to do, okay, install the screen here. Okay, with these four bolts and put everything together in reverse order we took apart. This one was the tricky part, other than that, it's easy procedure to put it together. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and many more videos to come.